Only do you want to take a trip? Close your eyes and let your memory slip. Roll home, home to your memory and the mine in Caroline. Make believe you're getting off the train. Just imagine that you're home again. Run, run, someone is calling you, hun. Just see them watching and waiting underneath the cotton moon. Watch them and waiting just to hear a wonderful tune. Where the buzz of the bee is a sweet melody. The bird in the tree knows. Hello Space Engineers, welcome back to Aries Colony, I'm Wellington6012, hope everybody's good. Right, uh, I think we can pretty much just get straight into things. So uh, yeah, you find me pretty much where you left me, why are those lights off? Um, you find me, yes, pretty much where you left me last time, and maybe did half an hour, possibly an hour's work, just tidying up some things, which we'll, we might as well just have a quick look at. Uh, yeah, and I've done the edit and uploaded the, the last video as well, but um, yes, same day my time. So, uh, the main thing that I did was down here, did some work on just tidying this up. So, I've rerouted the pipes off to one side. There's a little bit of ice there. Um, yeah, rerouted the pipes off to one side. And... Yeah, let's start, uh, actually I'll, I'll show you down here quickly. You would have seen this at the end of the last video, but let's just have a look. So there's the sorter which allows uh, stone to come through and the collector connector that uh, will collect it all and um, throw it out. Then down here, big old space and a little bit of stone. Suffice to say, I think we'd be doing pretty well if we filled this up. <laughs> um, in hindsight, maybe I didn't need to use one of the big warheads, but uh, oh well. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can see where I've sort of um, rerouted that around there. So I'm pretty happy with actually how this is how this has actually come out, considering that nobody will actually ever see it uh, up from now. Um, yeah, so I did consider today whether I built a little mining ship like I've got on Triton. But uh, yeah, I decided against that. I think we'll just, I've got enough um, iron and stuff that I can, I think, do the pipeline. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. Just rejig things a little bit here. Got the walkway ready to sort of go down a bit further. Because uh, I've kind of, I think the little mining thing will be housed in here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where, but yeah, that was, and I got rid of that cargo container, the big one. I uh, moved all the contents of that. So again, just repipe things and made them look a little bit more um, sort of, yeah, you know, I don't know, just a bit more open and yeah, it's a bit of a shame the render on those sort of bugs out a bit the further away I get to it from it. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's uh, that's all good. So we're all happy. Batteries are all full, well, almost all full. I turned the hydrogen engine off. There's the cargo container. So yeah, going to build a pipeline today, which I'll just come to in a second, that the other thing that I want to do, probably when we finish, and depending on where the sun is, uh, is head back to the trading post. I think uh, we can make quite a few things, explosives and how much magnesium powder have we actually got? Yes, I've got that. So uh, yeah, I can, um, silver's probably not so much, but... Yeah, I, I think it'd be worthwhile taking a trip back. I can probably buy some, see what's here, maybe buy some stuff. Or, oh, unknown signal. Hmm, why not? Uh, yeah, so today, want to build a pipeline. Sort of start off and head over in that direction, I think. Yeah, we'll head off in that direction. Um, see how we get on, see how it looks and comes out. Uh, yeah, so just... Uh, just before I get to the pipeline, actually over there, there was a big massive meteor storm came through. The guns took out quite a few of them, but there must have been, I don't know, 20 meteors and some of them got through, so. Yeah, let's just try and sync with this. Push you. Now somebody made the comment that 
should try and get to the signals before the parachute opens. I was like, how is that possible? <laughs> You'd have to be quick. Um, I'm loving these new tools as well. Alright, let me just uh, grind this up. So yeah, um, pipeline. Want to want to start on that? And yeah, that's uh, that'll be interesting. It's something I sort of wanted to do. Now I'll just address something in regards to that. Of course, Splitzy has done a pipeline on his series, uh, Survival Unlikely. Uh, cool series if you live under a rock and you haven't seen it. Uh, where's um, down there somewhere? Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, so. Please don't think that I'm copying that. I mean, I I guess I am copying it because it'll probably end up looking the same thing. But I've I've always had thoughts that I wanted to do it, and yeah, that that seems to be the same with a few of Splitsy's ideas and episodes. That um, yeah, I've had ideas and then he sort of does it, and I'm like, oh, so now when I do it, you think that I'm copying him? And I, you know me, I do give credit uh, when I am outright copying somebody. So uh, yeah. So certainly his pipeline will no doubt have inspiration uh, in regards to what I'm doing. Um, but I'm sort of planning on doing it a bit of a different way. I mean, I think he used welder welder pads, which is a mod. So uh, I don't think I need to do that because I, I use a method which you've seen me use on on the moon of Hyphestus Prime. Did I use it on Hyphestus Prime as well? Where I sort of... Um, I used a, a landing gear to lock it down and then I was able to disconnect it and turn it into a station. Um, whereas he's, he's, he was using merge blocks and weld blocks, so I don't think I'll be using those. Uh, yeah, so anyway, let's um, let's get started on this. What do you mean get started on this? I've already started on it. I can't believe I've actually gone through all that ice as well. There was quite a bit there. Um, I just wonder if I need to make anything. Ran out of those, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Right, so thinking I'm thinking that's too high. <laughs> so all, all this temporary stuff here won't actually kind of be part of it. This will all be gone at some stage. So obviously I'm gonna start it from here. But it won't necessarily be what it actually ends up looking like. Let's just put you in there. What I'm thinking is that I go like that. I want I want a bit of interest. And what what I was thinking was going to do this because I will use some hinges and stuff so if I do that and move a whole lot of these out like so that'd be cool and then and then I was going to put a cargo container on like that and then put on like a gun and then what I wanted to do was grab some of these panels and sort of have them like that oh that's not how I wanted it so these will be the supports mm. yeah I'm just, just wondering if if that's the way I want to do it, like if I went like that, which is kind of what I did. I remember doing it on Hyphestus Prime inside Fort Rutherford. So how how would that look? I mean, then I could even like get some of these. like that and actually 
I wasn't planning on it, but I could leave those unfinished, eh? I was actually thinking that I would weld them up, but that might work actually unfinished. Let me just weld all this up and see how it looks. Right, so that looks okay, I think. Do I do I weld that up? Let's just weld these up and see how they look, eh? Let's, uh... Hmm. I'm really undecided on that. What about if, instead of steel, we used uh, unfinished windows? Good. Oh, I'm sure we got some. Um, so this is what I used over on the sort of um, that one there. Oh, still another. Whoops. Right. So that's there, and... Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. I think. Cool. Okay, that's um, that's good. Right. So now I sort of want to head over in this direction because I think. Yeah, I think this is where I'll put the dome. I'm just still two miles because that was quite cool over there. Good thing it's a clear night. I mean, if I had it up here, then I'd sort of look over there and... Um, over here is just kind of a bit far away, I feel. Because I was looking... Uh, it might make it quite interesting, eh, if we had a pipeline that went all the way over here. Because where I was initially looking, when I first found this location was to have the dome up on here up on this level sort of I thought, I thought up here oh decisions decisions hmm Alright, well, I think I'm going to head over in that direction anyway, and we'll just have to see how we go. So let's start, let's start with a bit of a turn. So grab some parts for that. Very good. Let's, uh, let's turn you around. So I think we'll turn you a little bit over that way. That should be enough. And we'll lock you. Turn you off. Call it hinge pipeline. Be 
all good. Alright. And yes. Oh, the sun's coming up. It's good. So that's that's fifteen. Should I go twenty? Five. Ooh, five. Okay. So go with that many. Then what I'll do is I'll put in one of these ones not those ones those ones and i'll turn it like that yeah that'll work right let me weld this up all right so if we did that why oh because it's not not a um it's not a thing so what i need to do is what i need to do is get you energy low like so yeah 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 and what I need to do is grab uh, just one of these, one of those, like that, that doesn't matter, right let's just put you like that, is that locked? Hmm. Surely that should be able to lock. Yes, there it goes. So that's locked. So now we can we can disconnect you. Actually, hang on. Let's just let's let's try and make. Oh, oh let's just go get some power first. Hang on, and then I'll grab a control panel. Uh, yeah, then I'll grab a control panel and just, uh, yeah, that should be enough power to get me on with. So just put a little, a little one on there. One of them. Okay, and... Convert to station. We're a station. I probably didn't need that, did I? <laughs> I probably could have just converted it to station because it was pretty still. It wasn't moving anywhere. All right, let's uh, let's try now to get something in the ground. Still not quite in the ground. Beep. You can do it. Hmm. Okay. It's, uh... Right. Let's try that again. There we go, got it. Uh, you're in the wrong place though. Let's just... Why can't I just get you in there? Okay, plan B, if we put you there, can we then put you Does not want to behave at all. Okay, I know, I know how to solve this. 
we can just get a one. There we go. That'll solve it. Right. Gosh, made made hard work of that. Alright, so that's good. And then going back to our window, put the angled and angled angled. Like so. Oh, I shot the one down the one too. Oh, take this a no. <laughs> Alright, so that's um that's that. So that's all fuel low. Hmm. So that's all um nice and solid. Fuel critical. Great stuff. Alright, this is um this isn't too bad. So then if I do another nothing? I, I think that looks alright. Maybe okay, maybe I'll just grab some more good is yeah so that's that's fine so grab some more girders and let's just we'll, we'll put one down here like we said we were gonna do and then we could put one hmm How would it look if I put one over the top like that? And then even did one like that. Ah, looks silly. Right, um, yeah, so that's, that's cool. Lights. Can't attach lights. Now do... Okay, no. Energy low. Hmm, alright. Well, uh, maybe let me... Let me charge up and uh, might do a sped up thing, eh? And we'll um, we'll keep putting this pipeline in. Stand by.
Okay, so things are looking pretty healthy in there. Let's uh, let's go and have a look at this. Um, sure, I put some ladders on there. Hmm, maybe not. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at this pipeline. Really happy with how it's come out. So uh, here's the first section. I did swap out the um, cargo containers just for a, for a connector because I thought that was better. And uh, yeah, these T intersections are pretty good. And walking, 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 running, running, running. Yeah, I'm just wondering. I'll tell you what I'm wondering in a second. Um, but uh, yeah, the that one I'll probably swap out the cargo container on. Oh, there's there's the ladders there. Completely impractical, but I think look pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look down here. So start to slope down. These are still sort of straight. Now, what I'm going to do here? No, hold that thought. Um, so yeah, okay. So no, I did do both ladders. I just haven't done that one. Yeah, and so, yeah, I'll swap out, I think I'll swap out that cargo container for one of those. It's not the easiest thing to do, but I'll let future Wellington deal with that. Right, so, yeah, this section here, so, I am going to make this go underground. Yeah, so I have to get you and you do those. So this will be where I can sort of drive. But um, yeah, really happy how it's come out. Am just considering. Oh, that was uh, not what I was considering. Um, is whether I thought it was going to be quite far away, but it's just feeling like it's actually shorter. And whether I actually go all the way over there, so I will have to have a bit of a think about that. Given how long it takes to put in these pipelines, that's uh quite a commitment which I'm not really willing to make right now um yeah so that's uh, that's that let's weld you up and okay, let's grab some stuff out here grab some steel Grab some steel and we'll make sort of a bit of a bit of a hole to go into. And I could even use like oh okay, now they're a bit buried, aren't they? Do I go with that? Just as a bit of a A bit of a thing. Oh, I think that could work. Let's just weld it up to see what it looks like. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, I think I think we'll stick with that. So let's grab some more um, more parts. So yeah, I am contemplating whether I. Whether I head over there, I'm also contemplating whether I turn off these asteroids as well because they're just, they are more of an annoyance than anything. I thought that they would be threatening and they just feel like more of an annoyance to me and I'm getting so many resources out of them it's kind of defeating the purpose of being limited on resources. So yeah, I'm not very happy with how that's going. Uh, not very happy with how this is going. I'm trying to talk. All right, let's um, let's go down, and maybe, maybe I even put in. Yeah, I might just get a projector actually. Let's let's do that. And, uh, and I'll just just use it to put my template in. That might be a good idea. So there. Let's just put you down there. Yeah, so it's taken me actually a number of hours to um, hour and a half maybe to put these in. It's taken a long time. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't somebody tell me that there was no power there? Can 
so that one can probably go that way which won't help with putting the projector down but um So I just really quickly want to do this and we'll see how it looks so I'll probably have to cut through to the to the finished thing and why don't these have control panels on them uh, oh really yeah I'll probably just um sort of work through this cut cut to the end and then we'll um we'll head off for a drive because yeah the sun's getting down it won't be down where we're ending up and then oh, you then uh, yeah certainly next time we will um, probably meet up at the trading post so I'll have to grab Proto no that's not right Projector uh, Template ah there you go and just need to roll you over that wasn't it that was it go that way and that way and how far down shall we go we will go one, oh, one, two, one, two, three, four. that should be deep enough cool, cool. all right uh yeah leave leave this with me for a sec and then um then we'll get on to other things All right, so that's uh, that's that all done. Just got these last few little bits to do. Ow! And we need one, two, three. I'll just grab some steel as well. Ooh. One, two, three. Alright, so this, um, yeah, this will give me the ability for my wheeled vehicles. Not that I think it would actually be an issue for them to go under there anyway, but um, just for the fun of it. Let's uh, put you in there, and hopefully the green lights. Yes, green lights. So yeah, I was just wondering whether we went for sort of that sort of thing. And yeah, oh, okay, no, I've um, I've mucked that up because, yeah, okay. So what if we, what if we went like that, and we just change it to that? So, does that look alright? all right uh yeah what what we'll do is i'll just i'll finish this off and then we can we can go for a drive since we're headed back um the other way energy low uh, probably need one of the half ones cool okay so that's uh that's all sorted so now we've got a uh, bit of a reasonable i guess gate that we can come through uh yeah all right let's um let's quickly go over grab some stuff and we'll head off over to that trading post so what do we need uh, just that there. so 15 reactor components can we make reactor components Um, so I've made the explosives already and the uh, superconductors I'm pretty sure I made those or maybe not hmm okay let's make uh, make some of those and direct components when silver hmm okay uh I 
I don't think it's actually worth going over. Because most of it's silver. And I'm not... Because I thought about getting metal crits, but I think I've actually got a reasonable amount of cobalt. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, these meteors have given me quite a bit of resource that I wouldn't have otherwise had. I think I've made an error in turning on meteors, so they will get turned off because they are just hitting the countryside and they're just really giving me an unfair advantage I feel so I think I've made an error there that's all right live and learn uh yeah I'll, I'll turn those off because they're just not even as threatening as what I thought they were uh might feel a bit differently when I've got a big glass dome but um <laughs> I think I think that's the decision I'm gonna make now so uh, yeah, with that, uh, we might just make a quick trip over there in the Mars Explorer, and then we'll call it a day. I mean, I was going to drive off into the sunset, but um, that's not going to happen. I will think park in the sunset, and uh, yeah, what I'll, I'll probably just continue this pipeline a bit off camera. But yeah, I'm really quite happy with how that has come out. It looks great. Um, yeah. I seem to remember Splitzy had a lot more trouble doing his. As I say, I've really tried not to copy him. I wanted to try and keep my own idea, but he had all sorts of trouble with his. He had things blowing up. I never had any trouble whatsoever. I just changed them to station and, and away they went. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I did differently, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I'll continue it over here. And what I want to do is possibly next time put like a uh, a sort of a bunker style hangar in here, I think, yeah. And that'll sort of be a bit of an entrance as well, so not talking Fort Rutherford type tunnel, but um, yeah, maybe sort of something similar to the big hangar that I've got on Triton. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's what we'll work on next time because we've got lots of iron. So and it would be good to have some uh, inside uh, inside space to do stuff. Yeah. All right. So um, yeah, just let me sort something out for a second. And with that, thanks everybody for watching today. I hope you did enjoy this episode. And yeah, can hopefully join me again next time. And until next time, stay safe out there everybody. Have a good one.